Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Christelle Martinet with a reading for the New Moon Solar Eclipse, which is the 13th. And of course the energies surround that day. And I have here with me a Labradorite sphere, which is a dark stone you can you can gather. And um, you'll see a ray of light uh, coming down from from me, which will appear to be a blue light, and um, get the picture to be able to um, scry with this. I've put on my head things that um, speleologists wear, you know, with the light, a light, an elastic around the head. With it's working beautifully. All right, we are having a, a, a very, very um, um, special, okay, special time um, of expansion, and and we are all feeling this. Okay, we're all feeling this. We're, we're um, it, it is a, an energy that's flowing to all of us in different degrees, of course, but um, for those of us who are most sensitive. Um, you'll feel it and quite a bit. And when I mean most sensitive, I mean more in tune with the um, your higher uh, energy and your higher sense of um, your higher knowledge. It's an opening. It's a definite opening. You'll, you'll feel open almost to a fault now. When I say almost to a fault, uh, they'll be coming, they'll be energy. With people who do this type of work, the type of work that I do, um, in the beginning, uh, are, are overwhelmed. Right. This is just to, to clarify uh, what I'm meaning. Uh, you feel overwhelmed because you you feel all of these ener this energy and these messages coming in, and and at times, uh, it catches you off guard. You'll feel um, spirit come. You'll spirit. You'll hear other voices, and and it seems all of a sudden as if you are overwhelmed with entities that want your attention. Now, this is the time for people like me to go into spiritual retreat, as I did. And you need to regroup and to learn how to save your own energy, how to cleanse, how to um, just look for what you're looking for and leave the rest aside because you get mixed messages. And it was very helpful for me to do that. And why I'm saying this to you is that it also happens to everyone in the sense that if you're not able to concentrate on one thing, on receiving messages for one specific thing that you're interested in, your desire, uh, that you desire, you'll be getting all of this other information that just will not serve you at all. could be interesting, but it doesn't serve you at any purpose. And this is why what we do when we read for people, it's so tiring because we channel into different things that are requested of us. So now, this to say that Try to be as focused as you can these days and focus on what you're interested in because this is a very fertile moment. Um, as In terms of creativity, fine, yes, for those of you who are creative, but more than anything else, it's, it's very creative for you in terms of creativity to be able to see how much information you can get, new information that can, wisdom that can help you along your path. But it's an open session. This is an open, uh, it starts to open. You'll start to feel that things are coming your way. Answers. You'll find answers. Okay, now, among this period of, you know, openness and, and, and uh extra energy that will be coming in and the answers that you're looking for and all of the information that you may be bombarded with, there is um, something that I'll call and, and defined as scattered energy. It seems like it's raining. You'll, you'll feel like uh, bits of information is, are, are raining down on you. 
in equal measure, but not better defined. Now, you need to categorize things that you're listening to. Um, and, and you need to understand that certain things are not important to you. So let's try to focus because it is a showery, that song. It's raining men. Well, it's raining, it's raining divine messages here. I love that song. It's raining men. <laughs> I love it. All right. You'll find um, windows. Now, I'm saying this, the area, it could have been even two days ago. I was only able to scribe today. But in this time span, couple of days before and in a, a few days hence it will you know it's different for all of us but you'll find windows of moments that seem to be more propitious to understand and to get information um, if the energy is too strong and you feel bombarded go away close meditate close the door close that window forget it because it's not for everyone. But if there is something there that you that, that, that attracts you and that you can contend with and weed through, because it's a matter of weeding through, go in and check it out. Learn, listen, take notes. There are windows, and, and I will call them windows of opportunity. They start out small with bits of, bits of information that you'll seem to, to be able to weed through and, and pick out from the, the you know, raining messages that, that will be coming down. And among the windows, there will be some, one in particular, there will be one opening that will attract your attention for your specific purpose. It will be different at different times for all of us. That's a moment where you should try to freeze it, get pen, cake, paper, even take pictures of your surroundings. Remember what is happening in that moment because it will give you information. It will give you, it will, well, it's called enlightenment. This is called enlightenment. As you start standing in your light, you know, and it does require as I said before, a lot of concentration. Ah, oh, this ball is fantastic. It's fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. It gives you messages that um, clear crystals won't. There is a moment of the day um, where most likely things of this nature will occur. And I want to say that it will be at dawn, when dawn begins. And it's not dark, but there's, a, a, there's a, a, say, a good 30 minutes when, when this will occur. Take advantage of that. You'll feel as if you would like other people in on this with you. You want other people to know what you are doing. You want other people, to, hey man, look at this. I can't believe I'm listening to this. I can't believe how the music I'm hearing. I can't believe the messages that are coming to me. All right. It's excitement. Fine. You need to, this is a personal experience. You can tell people about it, but it's a very highly personal experience. And try to understand it first before even making anybody a party to this, if at all, if ever. It is so refreshing. It is a, a period that will make you feel as if you're taking showers every five minutes. Fresh air, fresh water. You're, you feel renewed. It's, it's, it's wonderful. It, it seems that I'm asking and suggesting to go within, but it's not that way. It's going without. It is actually opening as this 
lunar, this solar eclipse, this uh, new moon solar eclipse is suggesting it is an opening. And this is when you start to open. If there are any African people listening to me that are living now in Africa, I feel that you'll be more in a position to take advantage of this. I'm getting this message. Southern Africa, more likely, most likely, South Africa. All right, the feeling that you should get when you start tuning in and you start uh, seeking out the message and categorizing and taking notes and trying to understand is a feeling of refreshing, re refreshing feeling. When that feeling starts to turn to, um, not sadness, but when you start to feel tired, stop. Because then anything that you do after that will not serve you. Northern in above Canada is also an area. Residents of that area are also blessed with a little easier access to this opening. Try to wear uh, no jewelry at all when you do that, no metals. This is again then about getting messages, information, um, Oh, an opening, an opening to come out of yourself and look beyond, look beyond, seek for messages that you've never sought, you know, um, look for unconventional, not even that specific, but look for, try to listen also, try to listen. Okay, I'm getting, this is, um, it's the beat of a drum. And it's also a violin symphony, okay, in different areas of the world. Africa, there's the beat of the drum. And north of Canada, there is a violin symphony. Um, if I attune it to different um, musical instruments, I can probably pinpoint the uh, country. I'm finding North, well, South America, South America, the northern countries of South America, it's beating to the tune of a saxophone. There's a saxophone-like nature to the energy that you'll be healing, hearing and feeling. Ah, oh, ladies and gentlemen, I, now I have to stop because I made me tired. I'm sorry about that. I couldn't go around the world. I can't do it anymore. Thank you so much for um, scrying with me. And I do hope that you have a very fervent 
uh, opening for this um, new moon solar eclipse, the 13th to 14th of September 2015, do visit my new website for scrying. I'll be scrying there regularly. And thank you, thank you, thank you for your likes, your sh- subscriptions, and your shares. I truly appreciate, appreciate it. Namaste, my friends. Christelle Martinet here. Till we meet again. Bye-bye.